Hello friends, it is now day 10 of the readathon. Um, it is Wednesday, whatever that means. I am joining you today from my basement as I reorganize my son's bookshelf down here. He has one in his room, um, and then he also has one down here for like overflow books. So I took this stack from his room because I like to rotate the books out every once in a while to give him new books to read. So I'm down here, I'm going to try and find a spot for these and um, try and try and kind of organize some things. I also have my stack of books that I want to take to Half Price Books, his new advent calendar for December, and then a book I'm giving to my niece. Um, so yeah, these are all books that are going to Half Price Books, and I might pull some more just to make room, just to kind of cycle things out. So um, yesterday was Tuesday and I didn't read anything. I was just tired, so I didn't. Hey, we'll see. We'll see how I do. <laughs> I don't know. I will talk to you guys later. Okay, so I've just finished filming my September book haul. So that should be up on my channel by the time you see this vlog. And I need to edit and upload yesterday's vlog into some semblance of a video because it was kind of a hot mess. Um, as the days go on, I find myself forgetting to pick up the camera when anything interesting happens. So, yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to go do that. I have about an hour before I have to go to work. So I'm going to edit and upload all the videos and do all of the social media things and um, everything like that. Friday is the last day of the readathon and that night at 7 p.m. over on Instagram, 7 p.m. central, um, over on Instagram me and my co-host Britt are going to be doing an Instagram live. So if that sounds like your cup of tea you can join us over there if you would like. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys later. Hi friends, you get another late night car video, which, uh, lucky you, I know that those are the best content, um, but it is Wednesday, and it is 8.15, and I am on my way home from work, um, I'm about to go home, probably make some instant ramen, take my bra off, and then veg on the couch and hopefully I'll read a book. If I do, it will be Zodiac Academy. Maybe. I shouldn't say it will be. Oh, what's my hair doing? Okay, okay. I see you side part. Work was good today. I got a lot accomplished. I always make like, well, I make a monthly to-do list and then I make a weekly to-do list and then I have sticky notes all over the place. So I did cross off some of my weekly stuff. Everything I set out to do today. Why is this car following so close behind me? Whenever I am driving at night and there's a car following me, I always feel like it's somebody who's like following me, you know, like following me. So I always um, do like a lot of extra turns and stuff before I get to my house just to make sure they aren't tracking me. And I don't know if that's a thing that normal people do or if that's just me reading too many true crime things, but they seriously are like right on my butt. I have been known to not even go home and to drive by the police station when really it's just somebody going home that lives nearby to me and they are not following me at all and I just, you know, that's just how anxiety works, I guess. What was I saying? Oh, I was saying how I did accomplish everything on my to-do list today at work. Um, I'm a clerk, so I, most of my time is spent on like a customer service desk whether that's like that front desk or we do have a pickup window that people could drive by and pick up their holds at. Um, so I do spend most of my time at a desk helping people but then I also have off desk hours um, where I do like clerical things like a clerk does. I do have like a list of monthly tasks, monthly clerical tasks and then like you know there's other stuff that we do daily too and it's not a lot, but I do like, I'm a very organized person and I like lists and I like 
seeing things laid out daily, weekly, and monthly. So, okay, so that was a really long-winded way to say that I was very productive at work for the most part. And um, I was pretty productive at home today. I had a long list of social media things to do, like edit and upload videos. You already mentioned that, um, which almost feels like another separate part-time job that I do not get paid enough for. I do get some payments, like I do some paid posts and I do get paid for like Instagram videos, but not a lot, <laughs> like not a lot. And uh, probably not enough for the amount of effort that I put into this supposedly fun hobby. But it is fun, it's a nice creative outlet and um, I do enjoy getting the free books and I do enjoy reading and talking about books and like the whole community, which I have talked about before. Some of my best friends I've met because of bookish Instagram. Like there's a lot of local like book bloggers and bookstagrammers. Um, there's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of them in Iowa. And um, I met some of my best friends that way because we all met on Instagram and then we started going, like having meetups at dinner and then it kind of turned into a book club and then now we just talk all day, every day and it's really great. You know, it's kind of funny because I was definitely the generation that was raised online to like the first generation that was raised online um, and it was always like, don't tell people your real name and don't give any identifying information. And now all of these people have like been to my house. That has been my random ramblies on my way home from work. I will catch you on the flippy flappy.